What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we got a very special one planned for you, but don't we always? That's right, we're going to be looking at this very long-awaited deck. That's right, by Murphy's Magic and Pure Imagination Projects. Do you know which deck it is? I do. That's right, we're going to be looking at the Desert in Purple Cherry Casino deck. That's right, so buckle in your seatbelts, because we're going there. Let's go! The Desert Inn Purple Cherry Casino deck, that's right, by Murphy's Magic and Derek McKee of Pure Imagination Projects. This features the iconic cherry back that Sam Devins designed and the playing card enthusiasts have grown to love, complete with a striking new colorway. That's right, soft metallic purple. All right, so this deck was made to kind of pay homage to the Desert Inn Hotel and Casino, that's right, or also known as the DI. It was a hotel and casino on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada, which operated from around April 24th of 1950 up until August 28th of 2000. It was designed by the architect Hugh Taylor and interior designed by Jock Lesman. It was the fifth resort to open on the Strip and it was situated between the Desert Inn Road and Sands Avenue. The front and back sides of this deck are identical. That's right. The minute you look at this deck, you're going to fall in love immediately if you haven't handled this series. And well, if you're already an avid, avid collector of this series, you already know what you're getting into. That's right. You're going to see the two swooshes there, the two-way back design that will cover over to the back of the cards, which we'll see here shortly. You're going to see those white swooshes, like I said, those beautiful and iconic cherries there in each of the corners in that nice metallic red. The left and right sides of the tuck box are the same. It's going to say Cherry Casino in white. The bottom of the tuck box is going to feature some ad copy there on the right, produced by Derek McKee, designed by Sam Devins, and distribution by Murphy's Magic. And then the left is going to have the logo of Pure Imagination Projects. That's going to be it for the tuck box. There's also no tuck seal, making this deck very easy to get your hands on the minute that cellophane rips. This deck does come printed by the United States Plant Card Company on their crushed B stock. That's right, it does have a traditional cut and an air cushion emboss, and it does come in a mnemonica stack. The back design on this deck is truly elegant and beautiful in all of its glory. You're going to see those swooshes there on each of the ends that really make it pop every time you do a cool flourish or fan. You're also going to see those nice, really nice red metallic cherries that kind of are reminiscent of the slot machines that you see when you walk into a casino. Mix that with that beautiful purple metallic color and the medium-sized white poker borders, and well, you have a masterpiece. With this deck, you're going to receive some goodies. That's right, four to be exact. That's right, the first one's going to be this double back card. That's right, the double backer has the back design of the deck on both sides, making this a cool trick card. The next one is going to be the opposite. It's going to be a blank facer. That's right, it's going to have the back design on one side and a blank face on the other, making this cool for a lot of different disappearing ink effects as well as writing messages and things on as well. The last two cards, but certainly not least, is going to be the iconic Jokers of the Cherry Casino Collection. That's right, it's going to say jackpot in each corner instead of Joker. It's going to say compliments of, and it's going to have those very nice metallic juicy cherries that we saw from the back design there in the center. This time a little exploded there and bigger. And it's going to say East Las Vegas, Nevada, 
underneath. The pips and indices in this deck are your industry standard. That's right, the only difference, or shall I say non-difference, seeing that this is one of the better highlights of this deck, is going to be the reds being replaced with that metallic red that we all love. The court cards in this deck are also your industry standard. Once again, the only difference is the red metallic inks. The aces are your industry standard also until we get to the more prominent of the aces. That's right, the ace of spades is that very iconic ace. That's right, it's going to have the huge and large spade pip there in the center. That's double bordered there in black or white, depending on how you look at it. It's going to say a cherry casino. It's going to have the set of cherries in each of the swoop parts of the aces. It's going to say litho in USA with the serial number there at the bottom. This is also very reminiscent. It pays homage to the decks such as the Jerry's Nugget deck. All right, so that's all I can say about this deck and its details and everything as far as features, but nope. The conversation doesn't end there, so please join me for my final thoughts right now. All right, so what do I think about this deck? I give it a four out of five, four out of five. Um, I love the deck. Cherries are always gonna be one of my top favorites, no matter what. Um, probably in my top five series. Actually, I'm gonna do a series about my favorite series. Yeah, anyway. Um, the purple kind of throws me off, but it is a better purple than I thought, if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, it don't matter. Anyway, great deck of cards. I definitely recommend you get these. These are awesome, especially if you're an avid collector of this Cherries uh, series. Just an amazing deck. Uh, you can never go wrong no matter what. Every time this deck goes out, you gotta pick them up. You just have to. You almost feel obligated at this point. You know what I mean? Just got to. Um, right now, these are on pre-order. These are due to release and start shipping out after August 5th. Um, I will link a couple places below where you guys can go and check out the pre-orders and get yourself these locked in. That's right, so you don't miss your spot. Um, I do recommend you guys go into SoCal Playing Cards. Henry and Miss Cortez are just phenomenal people. It's a family-owned company, and they're doing great things within the card community, giveaways and whatnot. So I definitely suggest you guys go and check them out. So, shout out to Henry and SoCal. So, that's all I can say about this deck. I hope you enjoyed it. I do want to thank the great people over at Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this deck early so I could do the review. And if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.